How do you handle a situation where you work from home, running your business, and your spouse will not let you work because they always want your attention. They want you to come relax with them, come watch TV, come do things. And this doesn't even have to just be about your spouse. It could be your friends and family as well. How do we navigate this in a world where we want to make sure we're there to support the people that we love, but we also have to run a business? Let me break this down for you. The best advice that I can give you, particularly when it comes to a life partner getting in your space while you're trying to work, is to set clear hours that are office hours and clear hours that are time for your relationship. And this can look a lot of different ways. I want you to make sure that you have set times to run your business every single week. This could be three days a week. This could be seven days a week. Whatever works best for you and your family, now is the time to decide what those non-negotiable hours are. Now you also need to be setting partnership hours. This is a set of non-negotiable times during the week that you and your partner are going to check in. You can have dinner together, you can watch TV together, you can do whatever you want to do to reconnect, and these are a set number of hours every single week that without fail, you will be spending that time with your partner. Then around that, you're going to have what I call flex hours. These flex hours are going to be flexible times. It could be for work, it could be for hanging out with your person, it could be for doing other things, going out, staying in, handling your family, all of those things. But we have set dedicated hours for working that everybody in the house knows this is your work time and set hours for your partnership reconnection time. And this is dedicated time for them. This way they don't feel like they're being ignored or overlooked. You're dedicating specific time to them every single week without fail. And then you also have respect for your time working. All of those other hours can be dedicated flux times and can go with whatever you need to do that particular day. It can ebb and can flow and can change week to week or day to day with whatever you're going to need. It could mean more time for your partner, could mean more time for your business, it could be clean up the house time, whatever works best for you. But by having a set amount of dedicated hours to your job, and to your person. This way, we make sure all the feelings are protected. Everybody is okay, and everybody has at least some dedicated time so that they don't feel like they have to encroach on other times or pull people away when they feel like they can. This way, we can be protective of all of our hours. And just like you're protective of your work hours, you have to be protective of your partnership communication hours as well. So sit down with your person and figure this out. What's going to work best for you? And I do recommend that you document this. This could be printing out a calendar and putting it on your refrigerator or using a shared digital calendar and blocking off those specific time frames so that everybody can clearly see and access what time is going to be what, especially as you're learning and figuring this out. It may not be something that you easily remember that this is your set time for this and this is your set time for this until a month or two into this after you've done it for a while. So your goal here is to make sure that you have documentation where everybody can clearly see it. That way, if someone is feeling like they need your attention, you can say, baby, I'm really busy right now. I have to get this project done. This is super important, but your time is in a couple of hours. Your dedicated time is tomorrow. Can this wait until that point? And if it can, then that's fantastic. And if there's some kind of an emergency and it can't, you do have the ability to be flexible and prioritize what is the most important right now. But documenting it not only allows you to remember it and to learn that schedule, but to be able to decide a little bit easier if this is something that can wait a few minutes, a few hours a day until that dedicated time, or if it's something that needs to be handled right this second, despite it being another time blocked out on your calendar. Now, as you're using these blocks of time, do remember that emergencies will happen. You do need to be incredibly protective of your work time and your partner communication time. But if an emergency comes up, something that really needs you right this second, it is okay to be a little flexible on that to deal with those emergency situations. If emergency situations are coming up every single week, then you need to sit down and have a conversation with your partner about respecting the times that you've blocked out together and maybe have a conversation on whether or not these are the best time blocks for you. Maybe you need to shift the time blocks just a little bit to be more in alignment with your partner's needs so that you are not struggling against them to have the set time that you both agreed on. So if you need to revamp it or rework it a little bit, that's always okay. It's always something that you're able to do, but you have to make sure that both parties are in agreement that you are going to respect this the specific times that you have both together planned inside of your lives for functioning in your business and in your partnership as as well. You can always revisit these things as your schedules change, as your needs change, as the time of year changes, as your family situations change. 
It doesn't have to be a hard and fast rule for the rest of your life. It can shift as your life is shifting, but you have to make sure that you're checking in. So I do recommend checking in every couple of months, maybe once a quarter. It's a great idea to sit down and have a meeting with your partner and say, how is this schedule working for you? Is this still in alignment with what we're doing or do we need to shift things around a little bit? This way you can be in open communication with them. Make sure everybody's still feeling good and healthy about the schedule you've created for yourselves and is respectful of that time. This also gives you the opportunity to make sure that you are creating enough space in between these things so that you have time to process everything. If you're working, you don't want to be back to back to back to back working and not have time to have a little space and distance to think about your work to make sure that you're doing it the best you possibly can. You also don't want to make sure or you also want to make sure that you don't have back to back partnership times so that there are big gaps in between these things. So revisit as often as you need to change your schedule if you need to, but really lean into these blocks of time and make sure you're both protecting and respecting those time blocks that you're creating. If you have questions on how to do time blocking to make sure that you and your partner are both respected in the lifestyle that you are living, go ahead and drop those down below and make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell because every single day we are helping you to level up inside of your content creation so that you can make more money online but spend less time doing it so you can get back to running your business and live your best life. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes and if you've got any questions related to social media marketing, growing your online business, brand deals and sponsorships, go ahead and drop those down below and we'll happily get those answered for you over the next couple of weeks.